I'm Gigi, this is Pikmin 4, and um, before we get back into things, um, I noticed I put to, so I have to throw both of my pieces of recording into editing because I have the video on my phone and the audio on my laptop, which is annoying, but I noticed while putting them together that there's a high-pitched whine in the episodes and I was like where did that come from why is that a thing and so I'm going to fix my camera here just a sec um, and so I was messing around with it and I think it's either my capture card the cable I'm using to connect my capture card to my laptop or the double-ended USB I'm or headphone jack I'm using to connect my switch to my capture card but there's nothing I can do about it except lower the game volume a little, which is why um, the first episode didn't really have it because the audio was so quiet in the first episode. So I lowered the game audio a little bit this time around, so hopefully it's not too bad, but there's nothing I can really do about it, unfortunately. But enough of that. I have Pikmin to do. Um, yeah, we'll just do 20 and 20 again. Um, and I probably should have ended last episode while I would like after jumping out of the cave because that's when it saves But um, the only thing that was really of note is that the tiny little rubber ducky was called the stately rubber cutie, which is adorable All right gang, I and it's the next day and I am refreshed and I'm no longer dead tired So let's see what I can do around here um, Oh, there's the cave by the entrance, and then we can go up to where that electric gate was. Where's I'm going this way, right? Um, let's ride, ride Ochi because everyone's on Ochi. Is Ochi a little sh slower? Ochi might be a little slower. I have to like get right up close, like I have to like hover over my phone to actually see my whole screen, and like over time, I kind of like. Um, slouch, not only like slouch a bit, but just kind of like relax a bit so that like I'm a little lower down because I have to kind of like stretch a little to be over the top of my phone. And that covers up the bottom right of my screen, which is very important information, like how many Pikmin I have and what Pikmin type I currently have selected, but whatever. Hectic Hollow is someone or something built a rough wall inside the cave. The Pikmin and I were able, to, were able to scramble up, but Moss was unable to climb up the wall. I'll have to leave her behind for now and hope we can find a way or place to meet up. Okay, that's interesting. So we had, um, you know, we can be separated from Ochi, and now we have a mechanic that will, like, forcibly separate us from Ochi. Let's see. Wild Pikmin question mark. All right. Suggested reds and ice. I like how it kind of automatically fills out some of what I've got. I like that. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Hectic Hollows, sub level one. And now more loading screens. Jeez, the bloom on. There we go. Okay, I selected. I made it focus on like the middle of the screen and that reduced the bloom a little bit. Oh, OT like falls backwards. That's so cute. Ooh. What are you? Hang on. Who? Oh, you're like, you're just like a mushroom? Ooh. Okay, yes. You are just a mushroom. I can't really lock onto it though. And the controller, or the cursor is very sensitive. Let's see. Um... Um, maybe to fix the, like, electric wine. Here we go. These are, like, the mushrooms from Pikmin 3. Um, I can turn up the game audio, but then turn down the, um, the, like, capture card audio in OBS. But then I'm gonna have really loud game audio, and that's annoying. The cursor locking onto things, I don't know how I feel about it. I believe we can turn this partial construction into a vital asset. Um, oh, that's how we build bridges. We use material to turn it into, so I probably could have built that bridge on the other side of this cave. Oopsie. If you're at a construction site, simply direct your Pikmin Ochi to start building. Okay. That's cool. 
Oh, they have to like go back to the ship to get it? That's interesting. Um, no, get back here, please. Yes, I know they're drowning. Shut, 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 shut. God, I tried to press X to disband them. But that's not what I want. Yes. Um, okay, do we have 10? We have 10. So how does this work? <laughs> They're just in there. Wow, how amazing is that? The water froze almost instantaneously. Now you can travel right across the top. Um, does it stay frozen is the question. I guess it probably stays frozen as long as they're in there. Oh, and these guys are flowers already. I've been dicking around in this cave for too long. Also, I meant to look at... Oh, there they go. Boom. Construction of the climbing wall is finished. You can scurry right up this expertly crafted wall and explore whatever waits at your top. Oh, but Ochi isn't built for climbing, blah blah blah. You folks. I need you for this treasure. Um, I meant to look at the time of... Oh. Oh, right. I meant to look at the time of day before I, um... Like, came into the... Or went, right when I got out of the other cave. Um, but I think it was, like... Not... I think time might actually freeze. I don't really know what the deal is with, like, the one-sixth time speed. I think that might have just been a lie. Okay, so they come out. We'll have to see if that unfreezes at any point while we're down here. Ice about to melt. There it goes. Okay, so it unfreezes after like a little bit. Right. And now we... Okay, so I just <laughs> come... I just hop right off. Alright, bull board. Prepare to get mashed. I have to like take my hand off my desk. Get screwed. Get bitter sprayed, idiot. We are going to bitter spray you to death and then knock my hand into my camera. Um, yes, actually, you are free to sip on that. I think they sipped a little bit and that, like, took it down, but, um, they didn't actually, um, drink the nectar. What's that about, game? So I can interrupt their sipping, can I? That's not good. I have to be watchful of that. Right, and then I need Ochi to get back up here. Boom, 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 boom. Reds go. Hydro Jelly burst and it gave me literally nothing. Get him. I do like the that it kind of automatically locks on pretty easily. Oh, we've got two guys already on this. Come on. Everyone onto this Hydro Jelly. Are you gonna have any goodies for me? You guys come back here. Um, ooh, it had... Uh... It's like the bottom of the... Thing we... The, like... Uh, what is it called? Matrioskas? Or something? Russian dolls. I don't know why I thought matrios matrioshka. That's like I'm thinking of matrioshka brain, as in like the um. Oh, I can slip through these bars. I didn't even realize that. It's just Ochi who can't. Okay. Um, but matrioshka brains. Those are like the big mega structures. These, are, these. This is a Russian doll. Are we gonna have like a whole Russian doll set? That's cute. All right. Come on, everyone. And where's Ochi at? He's gonna be by the wall. So I can switch to Ochi. Morph. And then... I like how he has like a dog whistle. And then go back to the nectar, because I've got a bunch of different... Um... Oh, now I'm controlling um, my character here. Once I hop on Ochi. Okay. Nice to know. Alright, everyone drink up. We still got a leaf in there. There you go. Ding. Um, okay. So I have to be on Ochi to charge him now, it looks like. Because I have the regular, um, like, charge from Pikmin 3. I gotcha. Where's my water?
It is so dark because I have to play in pitch blackness. Gotta love it. I, it's giving me notes about candy pop buds, but I don't think I've seen one yet. Final sub level. I wonder how long caves are gonna get. Cause I mean, like, Hole of Heroes is 15 sub levels. That's the longest cave. There must be a castaway nearby. That's the longest cave in Pikmin 2, so. Nectar. Oh, I've got a. Okay, so Ochi has to recharge after rushing. I gotcha. This is kind of sus. You can. Hey, no, you can. Okay. You've got a dude. What do you do? Okay. Are you gonna, like launch them in front of you and then I feel like he's if he like runs he'll like run over my Pikmin. Why did I start moving to the side? What was that about? Okay. No threat. Oh and got a bunch of ice Pikmin in here. I'm guessing if I lost some so that I can take care of this. Get him. This thing ain't got shit on me. Boom. Okay, and then we'll have to, um, oh, I can get, I can get this from on top of here, I gotcha. Yes, I know, game, you really want me to lock on to all those raw materials. Here we go, ten. Treasures aren't too heavy so far, either. Okay. Um, this is interesting. Okay, and we've got... Is there any goodies in these, or is this just blocking the exit? Just blocking the exit. Okay, so I gotta figure out how to get Pikmin across the way. Now this guy's seven. Okay, so how do I get Pikmin up here? Any treasure collected? I have to stop pressing A to jump. That's the row, silly me. I've just never been able to jump in a Pikmin game before. Um, what if I... Um, there is like a second there I locked onto him. Well, I had yellows, but the game didn't tell me I needed yellows. Um... This is concerning. Okay, everyone off. And get nectared up. Bing, bing. Okay. So, what can I do about this other than coming back with yellows? Is there anything, like, down here? Do I need to use that enemy somehow? Never had to use an enemy as part of a puzzle in this game, I don't think. I can use enemies to my advantage, but, uh, like, sir, um, do I just have to come back with yellows? I don't see any other way to do this. Okay, well, that's a little bit annoying, actually. Um... I guess I'll just come back with yellows. The game didn't tell me I needed yellows. And usually these games are pretty good about telling you what you need to know. Unless I'm like doing something, unless Ochi has some ability. No, this just, he just sniffs things out. Um, I have survey drone. No. Um, I don't think I can do anything other than come back with yellows, but at least I can hop out and hop right back in. And like change my Pikmin setup, which is pretty nice at least. Um, not too happy about that though. Didn't tell me I needed yellows. Here you go. <laughs> Mama doll head and empty vase. And aspiration ritual pole. Real. Um. Uh, oh, it tells you how many Pikmin die when you're in caves now. I, like, didn't take a second to register that screen there. That's nice. Hope you're loving that high-pitched whine. 
That annoys me so much. I did get a pretty cheap capture card because I wasn't about to spend like, you know, a lot of money on a Let's Play channel where I have seven subscribers. That's not, I'm not going to spend $50 on a, or I think the one I bought was like $30, but like an Elgato is like $100. Um, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm just going back in. Go back in. Oh, I can jump right down to sub-level 2, can I? Okay. Um... Just 15 ace guys. Um... And 10 yellows, I'll do it. I only need 3, but whatever. So am I just going right down to sub-level 2? Because if so, that's awesome. Oh, that is so good. I love that. Thank you, game. That'll make backtracking through caves a lot easier. Hey, I found sub-level. Oh, and everything's still cleared out. Interesting. Okay. So if I, like... So it remembers what I've taken care of. Okay. Can yellows reach him? No? So I did do something wrong, did I? Or is there some ability I don't have yet? What? I can't press buttons, dude. Am I silly? I just... Unless I can, like... Oh. Okay. That'll do it. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, right. Because I did that with the clock that was on the wall. Ochi cannot knock things off of ledges. That wasn't clearly explained to me, so I forgot it was a thing I could do. I need to press X to jump, please. Okay, so that's interesting. Alright, let's check that ID. Look who we have here. Man, I criticize... <laughs> Dingo from Ori. I criticize these Pikmin games for having crazy tutorials, and then it didn't tutorialize me enough on that Ochi can knock things off walls, and I forgot about it. Oopsie. An officer who excels at solo missions. He's not a joiner by nature, but will show up and lend his physical abilities when need to be. When need be. I knew it! I knew he was tough enough to make it! Dingo is a skilled ranger, even though he doesn't use a rescue pup. He specializes in solo missions, you see. One thing's for certain, rescue missions should be a lot easier with his help. Found the ranger. I also forgot to check the time again when I hopped out of the cave, but whatever. Tracked down at Ranger Dingo. The only rescue officers still out there are the doctor and the pilot. We're definitely gonna need the pilot if we want out of this, off this planet. Okay, well that's <laughs> something to keep in mind that Ochi can knock things off ledges. I struggled to figure that out, but we got there. <laughs> if I couldn't figure it out, I probably would have just left the cave and had to keep it on the back of my mind for a while. Yeah, boom! Investigation complete. Not bad. Got there in the end. Visiting the lab. Russ, the rescue corps scientist, can make all sorts of helpful, useful gear. Um, side missions, were at castaways, side missions, yeah. These little tips in the bottom left are not too helpful for me. This is pretty standard stuff you're telling me. Now let's... Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It feels so good to hear that little jingle. Um... Well, we're gonna need a bunch of ice pikmin, because I think I needed 30 to handle the big pond. It might have been 20, but... Um, right, can I... No, I'll have to complete that bridge from the other side. Oh well. Do I skip through text a little too much in this early part of the game? Maybe. Do I like reading a bunch of tutorial text in Pikmin games? No. So, I suffer what I suffer. But the tutorializing isn't too bad. Like, this is day three and I haven't gotten, like, anything. Okay, all the reds on this. And then, yeah, 30. Everyone in. Barf. Okay, so, but there are things under the water that I can't get that I'll need blue Pikmin to get. I'll have to get some reds on that as well. Can Ochi go on these? Ooh, nice. That's being, oh, so that sends me all the way back once I go across. Hang on. 
you just like two on that. We don't need too much more. And now everyone on this. Oh, I didn't get everyone because the ta the group was all split up, was it? You four. I need you. And I can't have the ice pigment out of the water or the water will freeze. There we go. Right. Oh, we have... I completely walked right past this. We have a, um... A burgeoning spider wart. Er, I think... Is that what the mold is called? Or is that what the actual plants are called? I always called the plants the burgeoning spider wart. But that might be the mold. I don't remember. Let's see. We got two working on it and four left. And then... You're just chilling now. And this is about to be done. Okay, so let's get you guys on this. Burf. I like how he barks whenever I don't have any Pikmin and I try to like tell him to do something. And well done. Oh, these pop off so fast now. Oh, they, they take the, like, express route. That's funny. And they probably won't be able to come back on their own, will they? They're trying? Where are they going to go back? Are uh, these guys... Oh, they can climb up the wall and drop down. I see. Um, let's see. I should have two more reds, shouldn't I? They're on the bridge. Gotcha. Okay, so they stay at their task once they're complete. Right. That's how these things go. Okay, we're taking everyone with us and we're running for it. I think Ochi can swim now. Uh-oh. Come on, guys. Whew. They almost kind of drowned there. Yeah, just get this guy. You're not even a threat. Spamming is a lot more useful in Pikmin 2, it seems. I'm not getting the need to spam much. Or if I, like, really want to take down an enemy. Ooh, blue onion! I need to get this fast! Oh my god. Oh, look at that, another onion! This one's a different color from the first one we found. Will it also move on its own after we transport it? That is a good question. Okay, so I needed to bring some guys up here anyway. I forgot- oh, hey, there's... Okay, I can, like, go through there. There's, like, dead Olimar. Oh, I don't have enough to do this right now, though. I gotcha. Okay, well, hello, Olimar. So, okay, Olimar is, like, Pikminified. He's, like, dead. He died. That, that's 100% Olimar. Because that's Moss standing right next to him. So, Olimar died and got Pikminified. So, that's worrisome. Red alert, I see something. Or someone. And who is that next to them? It doesn't look like any of our rescue officers. He's hopping in. Moss is taking the castaway. Hey, what's going on here? Are they, what are they planning to do with that castaway? We need to rescue them, and quick. GG, Ochi, let's go. All right, squad, try a run. So this is our Dandori battle. Um, your Pikmin cannot join you. Interesting. It's just me and Ochi, huh? Huh? What's going on here? The Pikmin aren't following for some reason. Guess you two are on your own. Good luck, Gigi. You too, Ochi. Well, I hope they go back to the ship. Because I'm kind of at the end of the day here. I won't have too much time to run over and pick them up if they don't go back to the ship. Or maybe I'll just pop out and they'll still be standing there. Dandori level 1. Gathering Pikmin is crucial to the success. The more you have, the more things you can transport. The weight of the things you transport converts to points. Whoever has the highest amount of points wins, is probably what it said. What is this place? Guess we can figure that out later. For now, let's focus on finding that castaway. So, what's your deal, Almar? I see them. Oh, they're <laughs> they're gonna like t turn the castaways into Pikmin people too. Is that his plan? I see them over there. Uh oh. Uh oh. What what in the world? 
Those who do not embrace Dandori cannot survive this planet, but if they grow the leaves, they will thrive. <laughs> what are you? What got into your head, Olimar? Well, I guess a Pikmin sprout got into his head. You, skin having one, do you believe you do not need the leaves? I will test your abilities to see if this is true. Olimar has gone off the deep end after getting Pikminified. I mean, that kind of. Oh, just he's just out. Ascended. So, <laughs> Almar died and, like, I guess he didn't have good enough planning skills, but then he got Pikminified, and now he's like, ah, oh, planning is everything. Um, I see some, oh, I don't remember what those are called, but they're also in Pikmin 3. They're just, like, chilling out here. So I need to gather Pikmin as fast as I can and then pick up some treasures. I provide you the Pikmin you will need to support you in the challenges ahead. Listen closely. Find objects and transport them back to the base within the time limit to win collect the highest total combined weight. If you wish to retrieve your castaway, prove that, you, that your Dandori abilities are superior to mine. Now the Dandori battle begins. Okay. Okay, so we get split screen. Oh, we've got all sorts of dudes. I'm going like right into the fray. I will not be holding back. That's alright, bud. Actually, I don't have enough to pick this up, so I'm not going to dig it up for him. Boom. Not you, Ochi. Okay. There is things going on here. Okay, you... Help them with that, Ochi. Um, pick this up. That. That. Okay, um, we need to... Hang on, I'm gonna get Pikmin on his fruit. You too, Ochi. Go, send! I'm trying to send you! Why aren't you sending, Ochi? Okay, so Ochi doesn't like to send after I, like, spam another type. And these Pikmin didn't get, um, sprouted. Okay, yeah, you do the little guys, Olimar. I don't care much. Um, interesting. So we have some, like, golden nuggets here. My Pikmin are busy, Mr. Olimar. I am, I am thriving. Okay, get some treasures. He's going for that, but I don't care because I'm going for this. And I will also be going for this. Go on, Ochi. The outcome is still not decided, is it now? I think it's pretty decided at this point. And the Pikmin just automatically come out in these Dandori battles. No plucking necessary. Can't call his Pikmin. Now he's got a strawberry. I don't care too much. Um, wait, did he like knocked over all my Pikmin or something? But he didn't go for those little pieces, so it don't matter too much. Um, right, Ochi, go after that. No, <laughs> they're fighting. I need to get some of my Pikmin. Go. Wait, there's a... Th where did this fiery blowhog come from? Okay, so Ochi got hold of the strawberry. That's good. And I got enough on that. Oh, things are just, like, respawning. Are they now? Okay, but I'm still leading. I kind of haven't had too much of a grasp on everything that's going on. He's going after my nuggets, dude. Okay, keep going. Don't let up. Ooh, there's an insect condo over there. Okay, set some reds on that guy, because they are immune to anything there. Okay, I need some more guys. My men, my gamers, come on. I didn't think things would start respawning. Why? Hey, get off Ochi, you assholes. So, other Pikmin can attack me. Such Dandori power! Yeah, you're weak, dude. I'm ultimate multitasker. So, he's kind of had run-of-the-mill over that way, but I'm still way ahead, so it doesn't matter too much. We've got this in the bag. We are at 100 points. Um, let's see, can I snag anything? A bulborb! Get the bulborb! 30 seconds left. Oh no, you don't... Nope. Oh, there's like a fruit up there, so if I, so I can get like Ochi to knock this over, and I can get some Pikmin on it. 
but I am cruising. These aren't gonna get back, but it doesn't even matter because I have double the amount of points as him. Easy clap, Olimari. You are weak, buddy. Boom. I was like ahead of him the whole entire time. And what? You won by at least 30. Interesting. I won by at least 60, dude. I guess I don't, there's only like one metal ticket or something. It's just silver. The strength of your Dandori power is magnificent. I will return this one to you. How? Are you just gonna peace out and he's just gonna be leafed? <laughs> they just left? Who in space and time was that? I like how they say who in space and time. Well, whoever they were, they weren't lying. Your Dandori talents were on full display. Now let's get this castaway out of here. Yeah, but that was like level one. And sure, I beat him by two, but I wasn't doing much to stop him. Or I beat him by double, not by two. So as those Dandori battles get harder, I imagine... I will struggle a little bit if I don't try to stop him in his tracks as well as do everything I need to do. That's a very cool mechanic. I'm very excited to see where that leads. Oh, but we still have to get him back. Uh-huh, they really are growing leaves out of their head. They seem to be suffering from the same condition as that leafy individual you just challenged. So we're going to figure out how to, like, turn them back, I guess. I don't know if I have the time for that. Um, let's just go, well, we pat we broke the electric gate, but just in case there are some, like, electric hazards, I don't think there's any water in the way. Um, but in case there is, we'll take some ice pigment. Okay, um, no, wait, I, I want reds. I can't aim. Please, fellas. Um, okay, they're just, they're zooming. Hey, 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 hey! Don't even think about it, guys. Ooh. Wait, is there... Okay, no. There's not one still going. It's fine. They're all dead. Um, wait. I have someone not in my squad. Who's not in my squad? There were five Pikmin on. Oh, nope. One went to... Wait. Hang on. Who's missing? Why am I missing someone? Um... Okay, well, someone's missing, and I'm not sure who or where, because I have six Pikmin. No, there are six on him. Okay, yeah, another, I thought it said five, but another went to, ran ahead and helped out. I just can't get over the fact that they have leaves growing out of their head, and their face is all, well, bushy. Let's check their ID info. Error, home planet PNF 404. Error, unable to read data. Ooh. What's this? Unable to read data? They should have biometric authentication, but this is definitely an issue. How are we supposed to find out who this is? Oh, geez. That's a little scary. Um, wait. I have. Okay, they're still here. Come on, folks. So. <laughs> Um, yeah. I don't have enough, like, Florlic to actually get the blue onion yet, I don't think. But let's take a look around here, see what we can find in these last few seconds. Um, because if there is any Florlic up here, that'll be good to note that. So that's a flint beetle. They look different now. Nice. I like, oh, there's a cave over there. There's, is that, was that Olimar standing there? Or is someone standing there? It probably wasn't Olimar, it's probably just, I don't, I don't know what that was. It looked like Olimar from a distance. Olimar with the Dandori issue, I'm just better than him. Boom. Saving. I'm so happy that Dandori issue is a replacement for skill issue. It's it's just so fun to say. And like, you don't entirely get it unless you're a Pikmin fan, which makes it such a good insult to use within the fandom. Just TBH. 
We are so over time. I'm going like 35 minutes for like every one of these episodes. All the squads here. Let's check those totals. I still haven't lost a single Pikmin yet. So I'm kind of grooving. The ship's looking a little better every day. Right, we got enough to upgrade our radar. We're gonna explore the SS Shepherd's radar and expand our search areas. We need to go out and more gather more sparkling. So expand our range and help us pick us dif distant SOS signals. Let's give it a spin. So I like how our um, reasoning for going to certain areas is only that we're detecting SOS signals. It's and it's not just like, you know, we're not going to this area because there's no treasure, like, when there's, like, treasure everywhere. <laughs> Barf. They have leaves growing out of their heads, so odd. There's poisonous oxygen in this planet's atmosphere. They shouldn't be able to survive without their helmet. Something very strange is going on here. I didn't expect more people to get Pikminified. Oh, so many treasures. And I have some to look at. Grand Great Adventure Series, complete! Bonus 189. Is that more sparklium? Oh, okay, so it goes ahead like that. I see. Uh, no, wait, no, I wanted to go back. It's left stick to move this scroll bar. Let's see. Temporal mechanism. Aspiration ritual ball. So it knows that those two are connected. Lesser mock bottom. So it is the lesser mock bottom. The mock bottom is bigger. Sunseed berry, of course. Orb of destruction. That's awesome. We've got the memory fragment. Um, personal injury plank. We didn't see these two because I skipped past it. The stately rubber cutie. Unlimited locomotive. Detective's truth seeker. And then the ones from this episode. All right. Successful day. Well, Captain, we did it. We finally found our ranger, Dingo. Can't believe I had to be saved by the newbie. I'm losing my edge. We're just glad you made it back safe and sound, Dingo. You heard it all? Oh, uh, not at all, Captain. <laughs> I'm just, uh, touched that you care. Hmm, the table does not seem to be structurally sound. It's missing screws. But science guy could stand to worry about a little more. Um, uh, that reminds me, Captain. I have some information regarding our pilot. Really? Do you know where- do you know his whereabouts? Great work, Dingo. What? Er, no, no. That's not exactly... You must be exhausted from the forced sleep you had. We'll go over the details tomorrow. Go get some rest. Huh? Oh, uh, you- you got it, Captain. She cares about my physical state. That means she cares! Oh, before you hit the hay, please be sure to review all the details related to our rescue mission so you're fully prepared. Is that really necessary? On another note, Colin, do we have any updates on that castaway we picked up today, the one with all the leaves? Right now they're sleeping in the back, but their condition remains unchanged. Don't worry, I'll keep a close eye on them. Very well. Just make sure we get this castaway examined by the doctor as soon as possible, so we need to find the doctor before we know what to do with this. Alright, I think if I continue from this menu... That means we'll go on to the next day, and this, these episodes go so long, because, like, it's hard, like, there's long sections between good stopping points, you know? Like, <laughs> we got into that Dandori battle at, like, you know, 25 minutes, which it, I usually, like, set my, I usually set an alarm for 25 minutes, and then, like, see where we go from there, so... Very long episodes for this Let's Play, but that's fine. I'm having fun playing this game. And I am very curious to see where the, like, <laughs> Pikminification of captains and castaways goes. But that's all we've got for this time. <laughs> um, and next time, I think I'll go to the new area, because I'll have to find some more Floralic before I can come back for the blue onion. So... I'll see you guys then.